Antoine Tisney. Antoine Tisney, 29, July 1932-19, July 1998, was a French composer. Life. Born in Lourdes, Tisney began his musical studies at the Tarbes Conservatory. He entered the Conservatoire de Paris in 1952 in a music writing class. He was then a student of Georges Hugon in Harmony and Noel Gallen and Jean Rivier in Fugue and Counterpoint, then had Darius Milhaud and André Jolivet as his teachers. He won a second Grand Prix de Rome in 1962. Principal Music Inspector at the Ministry of Cultural Affairs between 1967 and 1992, then Music Inspector in charge of the Municipal Conservatories of the City of Paris, Tisney composed more than 300 works ranging from pieces for solo instrument to the symphony orchestra. His works are recorded in France by MFA, Rem, Calliope. He was an officer of the National Order of Merit a commandeur of the Order des Arts et des Letters, and was decorated with the Order des Palmes Académiques. Among other awards, he has received the Copley Foundation Prize, the Helfen Prize, the Lily Boulanger Prize, the Kusivitsky Foundation Prize, the Casa de Velasquez Prize, the Grand Prix Musical de La Ville de Paris, the Composer's Prize of the Sesame. Tisney's work is that of a humanist for whom composition procedures are only a tool intended to restore as well as possible the explorations of his imagination without ever being in itself the essential generator of the composed works. New technologies, while he knew how to appreciate them, do not fit into his thought pattern as a deliberate substitute for inspiration or as an alternative to a musical discourse that he likes to be imbued with spirituality. Tisney's work is resolutely expressive and does not need to be followed, at the time of its interpretation, by explanatory comments. One enters the universe of Tisney as on enters the universe of a painter or even more perhaps in the universe of an architect by its spatial dimension and by its quasi-telluric energy. Tisney was a musician of spaces. These spaces or fields ignore emptiness. They are spiritually, emotionally, historically charged, whether real or purely dreamlike, if only because on can define in this abundance the solution of continuity between the real and the unreal. But his world is also our world. Tisney died in Paris in 1998. Works. Sonata for Piano, 1968. Epigraph pour une steel for piano 1968. Soliloques for bassoon solo 1968. Concerto for flute and string orchestra 1969. Homage a Calder 1970. Stay by a mobile 1970. Luminescences for organ 1970. Solstices for bassoon, string orchestra 1973. Sonata for Violin and Piano, 1973. Alliages, 1974. Assyriacs, 1975. Heraldiques for Trumpet and Piano, 1975. Music for Sonhinge for Alto Saxophone and Piano, 1977. Spaces Irades for Alto Saxophone and Piano, 1983. Boastful for Two Pianos and Narrator 1984. Music and Trio for Violin, Cello and Piano 1984. Apre for Clarinet 1984. Concerto for Viola and Orchestra 1985. Ombre Veneziana for Two Guitars 1985. Solils Noirs for Piano 1986. Espaces Irades 1987. Antienne pour Allow de la Baritin, Violon Solo et Orchestre Records, 1986. Horizons for Clarinet and Viola, 1987. Vision des Temps Immemoriaux, 1987. Trio pour Ans Mart Not Piano Percussion. Ravis Homage à René Donnell, 1987. Trio pour Ans Mart Not Piano Percussion avec Rizitante, 1987. Episodes New York Eyes for Flute, Clarinet, 
violin, cello, and piano, 1988. Mono di Roman for Por un Espace Sacker for Flute Solo, 1989. Sonata for Viola and Piano, 1989. Partita for Flute Solo, 1990. Les Boyles de Lanuit, premiered by the Orchestre Symphonique Francaise, conducted by Laurent Petit Gerard, 1992.